Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we are obviously doing an IKEA greenhouse cabinet update. I posted a video when I first got my cabinet, just showing you what I had inside and how my setup looked at the time. So in today's video, I thought I would show you what it looks like now and update you on how my plants are growing. And I also wanted to throw in some before and afters. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I guess I'll just go from front to back since it'll be easier than reaching behind to get to plants. But the first plant I wanted to update you on is my Monstera Albo because we propagated my entire plant. So I actually have this one, this one that has tape around it because algae was building, this little one, and this one right here. So we propagated it and ended up with a bunch of cuttings. The first cutting that I had potted up was this one right here. It only had one leaf which has now turned into all of these leaves. So I have four leaves now with one leaf coming in right here. Hopefully it's variegated because only the leaf that was propagated, which was this one, is the leaf that has variegation on it on this plant. Well, there's some on some of these other leaves, but it's so low you can barely see it. But this has grown three more leaves. It's working on a fourth one. Praying it's variegated, but I highly, highly doubt it. You can see the roots on the outside of the jar. So I'm probably gonna have to repot this soon. I really wanna repot them all into one pot because I feel like it would just be better and easier to keep an eye on. So stay tuned for that in the near future. This is a leaf I had propagated and it put out this one that had a little bit of variegation. And it looks like it's kinda gonna put out another leaf soon. Not that soon, not soon enough, and hopefully it's variegated. This crazy looking one, this is the one that has the most variegated leaf right here, and it's currently putting out a growth point finally, if you can see that right there. There's two cuttings in here. This one is in here as well, and it hasn't put out, <gasps> Oh my God, I spoke too soon. There's a growth point down there. There's the tiniest growth point in there. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it, but that's very exciting because I potted this up maybe two months ago now and they haven't been doing all that great. Very, very, very slow growth. So I'm very excited to see that. I thought these were rotting. Yay. And then the last elbow that I have is one that I also thought that I killed. I put out this leaf and I had propagated this leaf by its, oh, I had spilled the water. What the French? I had propagated this leaf right here and it actually turned black and mushy so I thought that it was rotting but I just ended up Oh my god, look at how big that root is back there. Jesus. But I had just potted it up on a whim in Teleka at that and it actually is doing quite okay. I think this is the most variegated leaf that I've gotten from my elbow so far under my own care so that is so exciting and it's currently working on another leaf as well. Hopefully it's variegated, but I don't see much white in there. Also, if you come into my greenhouse, I took out the humidifier and the fan just for this video, but I took out the bottom shelves because it was just a little too crowded in here and I didn't have enough plants on the bottom shelf anyway. And I put pots back here that I wasn't using currently and I put plants on top of the pots. And I just think it looks so much better in here. It's way more comfortable, there's more room. But one thing that I did wanna mention about this greenhouse is that this is definitely getting moldy, my pegboard. And that's because I never sealed it. I definitely should have sealed it and sealed it well, but I didn't seal it at all. So I'm gonna have to take that out soon and probably get an acrylic one. Or just take it out and not have one back there at all. I'm not sure yet. But it's definitely moldy and it smells mm, terrible. I backed you guys up a little bit. Why do I feel like I should do the video over? Oh my God, this is such a better angle. Why was I this close? It's okay. You see my ashy knee? No, okay. I'm gonna move on to the next plant. Okay, let me grab this one. I love this plant. The next plant in my greenhouse that I wanted to update you on is my Maranta. I think this is a Every time I go to see the name of this plant, I have no idea what kind of Maranta this is. So if you know the name of this Maranta, please leave it in the comments below. But this is one of my Maranta that I have in this really cute pot. 
It's not actually... <gasps> no, I just broke a little leaf! Thank God I didn't snap it off, but I made a little crack in the leaf. Oh well. I want to take it out of here though. Please hold. <laughs> oh my God, this is so hard. Why did I do this? Okay. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? How are we, how are we, how are we gonna do this? Um, got it. Okay. Okay, so it's still in his little Progresso soup bowl with his mouse full. I actually had to use that just to help him grow because it was leaning over. And sometimes when it leaned over too much, it would snap completely off the roots. So that was creating an obvious issue. I'll insert footage of what this plant used to look like because it literally came from the graveyard. I killed the sh out of this plant and I propagated it and I accidentally, I propagated it, I potted it up and I snapped the roots off, had to re-propagate it. And this is what I'm left with now which when you see the before, you will realize why I freaking love this plant so much. I posted a picture on my Instagram recently of this plant and I captured it from the graveyard to my current obsession because this plant literally has a new leaf coming out all the time. And what's even more exciting about this plant is that it was growing as a one viner. It's currently putting out another leaf at the top, but I was pleasantly surprised to find that it's made another plant down here. Like one day I just saw a little swirl coming up and now there's two little leaves down here and it's no longer a one viner and I didn't even have to propagate it. Like, are you freaking kidding? Look how red the pattern is on the newer leaves versus when they get more mature. So cool. Just because this plant is in here, I just showed you guys this plant in my last video, my El Chaco Red. But I just wanted to show you again because I ended up cutting off those two yellow leaves that were also yellowing. So now I have a four leaf plant. The little growth point coming in. So hopefully we have this baby growing very well soon and those other leaves weren't a sign of anything actually terrible happening. But we'll have to see. Moving on, I just wanted to show you my skin dapsis that we potted up in a recent video that I will link for you. But she's doing so well in the cabinet. Literally, this plant never used to grow for me until I put it into the greenhouse cabinet. And I didn't put it in the cabinet for a while because I just had a few cuttings of this plant propagating from the mother plant that I had killed a very long time ago. So I had them in water for the longest time, not growing that much really. And I recently potted them up in that video and I think I've gotten I think I've gotten a few new leaves since then. This is definitely a new leaf. We have a new growth point down here. There's a new leaf coming in right here. And I think she's doing extremely well because of the humidity. And anytime I take this plant out of the cabinet, it starts dying. So it lives here. Along with the rest of them. Oop. So rough. I don't know what it is, but another plant that I have that wilts as soon as I take it out of the cabinet are all of my albo. Like literally, if I take these out of the cabinet and sit them on my shelf in the living room or sit them on my desk in my office or anywhere else, they start to wilt. Like it feels like any plant does when you don't water it where the leaves are kind of droopy, even if it's well watered. I'm not understanding. But I'm not really asking any questions because if that's the case, we can just leave it in the greenhouse. I just showed you guys this plant in my last video as well. This is my philodendron mammy eye that I love dearly. Look at how bad she needs a moss bowl. Like she's asking for it, she's begging for it. I need to get on that. But this is so beautiful. This is like my favorite plant at the moment. And I'm so happy that you guys are starting to love this plant as much as I do. I always get messages on Instagram saying that people are buying the philodendron mammy eye because of how much I love it. And that makes me so happy. But yeah, this is my current favorite plant. I don't wanna harp on it too long because you see this on my Instagram literally all the time because I can't get enough. Can you though? Can you? Oh my God, so beautiful. We just potted up my Jacqueline as well that lives in the greenhouse 24 seven. And she seems to be putting out another leaf. It's kind of far down there, but I can see something poking on the side and it looks a little green. So I'm very excited. 
this isn't something that's been in there since I got the greenhouse cabinet though. I just got this plant a few months ago and grew it from a bulb, but it has lived in here ever since. I'll do a quick update on my philodendron mammii and philodendron L uh, varicosum. My philodendron mammii and my philodendron varicosum propagations. I ended up, ooh, look how white that root looks right there. But I ended up cutting the leaf off of this one because it was just so terrible. But it is growing roots. Don't mind these ones, there are a little bit of soil roots on them still, like these are not water roots. Ooh, see, those are soil roots. Those two little white ones right there, those are water roots. Those are the roots that I've grown myself. And there's also a growth point there. And camera overheated, now I'm cold. It's okay, where was I? Propagations. Did it get darker? I think it did get darker, but I think we'll all be okay. I was talking about my propagations. I think I showed you this one first with the little growth point right there. I cannot freaking wait to see these. I'm so happy to be propagating a large philodendron varicosum because I know they're going to turn into some beautiful plants. This is another propagation that I took. I think this was the healthiest leaf, but it is dying. But oh, it's also growing some roots. Don't ask me why they're brown at the tip. I have no idea. It looks like a match. Nevertheless, there is a growth point as well. So I'm still really excited for these propagations. I have those two philodendron mammii propagations that are still propagating and working their magic in water right now. Those might get prodded, prodded. <laughs> Those might get potted up soon as well. Sometimes I pot up plants off camera because the urge just hits me. Like this plant today, well, <laughs> this is a propagation that I took from my Philodendron varicosum. This was a leaf that was unfurling on the plant when I propagated it. And today, when I looked at it, it was with the rest of the propagations I just showed you in the same little container. Oh, I actually had cut the leaf off of this as well, the big leaf that was attached because it was done for. But I looked at this little piece that I had left today, and you know when plants are growing, when they start moving and becoming like very erect. So this plant was doing those things this morning, so I thought I would pot it up into this little tiny temporary pond situation until it gets a little bit more established. And the reason why I'm caring for this one in a different way is because it's a different type of propagation in my eyes. This has a leaf that's trying to unfurl, and it's probably been trying to unfurl for a very long time now. So I'm just trying to speed up that process so we can get this unfurled and get to growing this plant. Moving on. If you've been following me since I started my channel, which you probably haven't, this plant was propagated as a little stick. Do you remember those propagations that I recently took from my large fiddle leaf fig? I had to shorten them because out of nowhere, I remembered that you cannot propagate a woody branch. I think I learned that when I had a bonsai tree, you cannot propagate a piece of wood. So I had to shorten them until I saw some green, and at that point the life had been sucked out of the stalk. Nevertheless, there are some roots forming on one of the propagations that I took, so I'm so excited because look at this. I grew this one the same exact way, starting with no leaves, and now I have this beautiful fiddle leaf fig. It's in Lekka. And when I had my plants in soil, I could not get a fiddle leaf fig leaf to not have a red spot on it. So to have a fiddle leaf fig and not have to stress about it, it's amazing, honestly. He's not in a container that I can see through, and it's kind of hard to tell when your fiddle leaf fig doesn't have water because it doesn't really do anything different. It doesn't wilt or anything. So I kind of just pick him up, and if he's a little bit lighter, I know he needs water. And that's the case for most of my plants that don't have a clear jar. He's currently putting out another leaf, which I'm so happy about. Oh my god, I'm trying not to knock everything over. I know you remember when we chopped up and propagated my philodendron varicosum. That is a growth point, and it's growing, and it's getting bigger every day. And I can't wait to see the beautiful leaf that comes out. I never actually used a moss pole to its fullest potential. Like, I never... That's a lie. I definitely had a few plants actually root into a moss pole, but like not one I was excited about. And this is the plant that I'm really excited about, and I thought that it was gonna rot because the moss pole is wet most of the time, but it's actually growing so well, and I'm so happy. Speaking of varicosum, I'm going to update you on my small one. If you don't mind this hideous pot. It's just to prevent algae because there's a problem. This plant was dying for so long. I even have a whole video saving my varicosum. I propagated it again. I potted it up, propagated it again, potted it up, and nothing worked until now. I'm not sure what I did though. 
because I do a lot of things. I don't really wet this moss pole at all. It's not even completely filled up with moss. Put it on there for support. This is how all the leaves were coming out for the longest time, like this. Dusty, crusty, musty. And now, oh my God. If I would have known that there were different kinds of philodendron varicosum when I first bought them, I definitely would have got a large leaf philodendron varicosum. Not that this isn't pretty at all, but it just, these leaves I don't think will ever be that big. Imagine I can get them that big though. But I don't think they can get that big because I literally bought a varicosa mini, I think, I believe. I'm not gonna lie, I literally stuck this in here for the video because I just wanted to show you how cute and beautiful my serpents is. I'll insert footage of when I first got this plant, but look at how beautiful she is. I can't believe it. I really don't know what I would do if you bloomed. It's becoming a lot more root bound, so hopefully I will get some blooms on this plant with it soon. I only have one more plant to talk about and I already talked about it, so it's not gonna be that long, but it's my Philodendron Manii. To be honest, I don't think this plant needs to be in the greenhouse because the ones that we just recently potted up, they're in my living room. I'm going to have to figure out different ways to store my plants that need more of a humid environment. That does bring me to the end of today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on my Mother of Plants Instagram. And until my next video, bye guys.